Okay, so this is grade band three, four, five, doing their common core breakdown to proficiency units. You can see Lisa's is over here on the floor. They're also color coding the various sections of the common core. We're doing English language arts. And I'm going to ask you guys a couple of questions. So they've done reading literature, and now they're doing reading informational text, and then they'll move on to, I think, language is next. So tell me some of the benefits of this work session. We've been able to bounce ideas of how we would teach it or what the standard's even really getting at, since we're both focusing on fourth grade today. Yes, yes and it's been very helpful to have you know, two different schools here to collaborate ideas, to share different ways we could put these into a theme throughout the year and exactly you know, what levels of blooms they are. It's a great discussion. Especially because we don't have someone teaching the exact same stuff in our buildings. To actually have a team, you know, mm -hmm. in bigger schools you have your team within your school. Well, for us, it'll be our team within our ESD. Yeah. So the process itself, a lot of work. Yes. Is it beneficial? Yes, <laughs> it is. I can definitely see how it can help the students and where we can actually um, pinpoint certain standards and not be worried that we're missing them, but not give them too much, or we got to go back, you know, down to a lower level of blooms to bring them up to where they need to be to meet that standard. Mm -hmm. It's been very helpful. I think it's been really helpful, and I hope in the rest of this year maybe we can get together again and do math, and then in the years to come, even bringing, we will have this done, but bringing in then some maybe samples and just discussing, well, how are you doing? on these different standards and having this time to collaborate mm -hmm. in a cohort of our own grade levels through the RESC. Yes, especially with science coming up, what we need to do with science so we don't have to duplicate making up our own group and what we're going to do is, is share, go back and forth and then get together at the end of the year and say, how did that work for you? Since we have blended classrooms, what can we do next year? Um, so we're not giving the kids the same information but stepping it up. We keep growing. I think it's been great. And if you do the cohort situation, you can also have the opportunity to certain projects collaborate on through the video conferencing system mm -hmm. so that um, your classes are doing the same kinds of activities. You look back and forth at each other through the video conferencing yeah. and share your presentations or your projects. Yeah, I also think, though, this time together in person has been huge. So I want to thank the, everyone for letting us get <laughs> the time to come together. Yes. Because it's one, it would be very difficult to do this type of project over a VTEL, I would have to admit. So this is perfect yeah. to have the one, one in her, the FaceTime in real life. And the listening time, too. Yeah. We're talking, but we're listening and sharing ideas. Mm -hmm. And thank you for being patient with us. Of course. This has been great. I mean, it really is helpful. Anything you would recommend to people who are thinking about coming but thinking it's too much work or I don't really have to do this? I think it's definitely worth the time because you can see it down the long road it's going to help the students and it helps us know that we're right on that common core standard breaking it down I think it does help first I didn't know if it would help to parse them but now I can see where we're going to focus on this at this time you know and I think it's great and also the wheels get, get, get accurate wheels because <laughs> <laughs> you had some printouts that weren't helping you very much didn't yes, you <laughs> yes so that's been very helpful bring your wheels okay I would say it does it is a lot of work but it's going to make your life easier in the long run. Because next year, I got all this done. I just look and see, okay, where's my group at? You know, maybe I want to move a few themes here or there, depending on reflecting on how things go. But the majority of the hard work is done. And so, if you haven't come to this for language arts, come for math. If we get math, because it's going to make your life easier. Should we do language arts again? Because you guys aren't going to be finished in one day. No, I think we need definitely Yeah, need maybe more. another day with yeah. language arts. So okay. we can even do another grade the yeah. whole we got time. And I'm excited to see the kids get excited about using the blooms and the questioning and taking more just interest in their own learning. I think it's going to be great. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.